these are the objectives and goals I have for the course. So I will be very happy if you actually take away all these points, which we are surely going to cover through all the course. So very first one, overview of the separation technologies and mass transfer operations. So this is the main goal. I want you to learn about all the separation technologies and mass transfer operations that are involved typically in a chemical industry. Also, uh, if it wouldn't be extra, I want you to understand the principles governing mass transfer and its separations. So not only know that a distillation column is very commonly used to separate it, I want you to understand what type of principles are governing that distillation column. For instance, the volatility changes, liquid, vapor, equilibrium, and so on. Relate how mass transfer phenomena can be exploited in each mass transfer unit operation. Once again, the same example of distillation, I want you to understand what is the mass transfer phenomena occurring there, which is the distillation uh, or the volatility differences, and how can we exploit that in order to uh, overcome and get better separations. I want you to know several equipments and unit operations in several processes. The interesting part on separation technologies is that many times we will have several equipments in a single unit, for instance, the distillation column, you're going to have a reservoir here, a condenser, you're going to have a reboiler, and so on. Get to know several industrial applications based on these concepts. So not only the units or processes, I want you to know which type of uh, industries uses distillation, gas absorption, stripping, scrubbing, and whatever other process we will check out. Understand the importance of method selection. This is one of the interesting parts on this quick course, which is essentially which will be the best case for a separation. So let's say that you have coffee and you want to extract caffeine from it. What will be the best approach? After this course, hopefully you know which one will be the best approach. Explain the role of separation operations in the chemical and related industries. So you will see later on that the hard investment and operational costs are typically those related to separation processes, not heating, not pumping or pressurizing, but process involving separation. Understand the five basic separation techniques, which we already saw in the content section, but let us just remind for ourselves, make no worries. If you don't remember, we're going to see this later on, which is phase addition, phase creation, then membranes or barriers, then we have solid agent addition and mechanical physical separations. Use the concept of key components and separation factors to measure how well a separation is done in two or more components. This is actually the part I was telling you about, guys, that there are a lot of formal definitions in the separation industry that you will want to know in order to increase or per, uh, have a better performance on your processes. Understand the concept of sequencing of separation operations. We're going to see later on that it's very important if you have several components, which one to select first. So for instance, now that you know which type of process is better, many times you're going to need to select what is the best order to do. Explain the major differences between chemical and physical separation processes. You can imagine this is more related to the chemical per se, and this is more into physical forces. Make a selection of separation operation based on factors involving feed and product property differences and characteristics of separation operations. So this is essentially the same as this one right here, plus this one right here, and this one right here. So essentially, this is a summary of these three objectives. And guys, if you are done with this, uh, make no worries if you don't get to master the course, because this is just an introduction. The overall idea is, once again, I want you to have an idea of, or an overview of what are separation technologies and mass transfer operations. Of course, later on, you're going to have a specialized course on distillation, on absorption, on liquid-liquid extraction, drying, deshydratation, and so on. 